In this episode, I'm joined by Scuba Zoo's senior cameraman and Sabahan legend, Mr. Chris Tan. And we're here at Sipadan with Sea Ventures, showing you what it takes to become an underwater cameraman. My name is Bertie. My name is Chris. Ini adalah Borneo dari laut. choose your ideal job, what would it be? Professional footballer, full-time ice cream taster, or how about underwater cameraman? Today, I'm gonna to be spending time with Chris Tan, who's Scuba Zoo's senior underwater cameraman. But before we meet him, let's take a little look at what he's capable of. With a career spanning more than a decade, Chris has travelled all over the world and filmed for the likes of National Geographic, Discovery Channel and the BBC. Given that Chris was born in a small town in Borneo, more than an hour's drive from the sea, it makes his profession all the more remarkable. His sense of adventure and passion for a life aquatic has brought him huge success in the field. Most notably, winning an Asian Television Award for Best Cinematography. Mr. Tan. Ready. Good morning. How are you, man? Good night. You? Yeah, very good. good Thank you. Good stuff. What's the plan? Well, I'm here to shoot for Scuba Zoo for stock footage. So we're going to go to Barracuda Point. I heard it's really pumping right now. So yeah, let's, let's find the jack, the usual suspects of jacks, barracudas, bum heads. Yep. Let's do it. Sounds oh. like a plan. Jalan, Jalan. As soon as we dropped in, it was easy to tell why Chris had made this his day job. Clearly in his element, Chris was busy filming animals before I'd even spotted them. With over 2,000 dives at Sipadown with a camera, there are few people more qualified to lead me on a personal guided tour underwater. uncanny ability to almost predict where and when a creature would be, plus the obvious enjoyment he feels just being below the waves are what makes Chris a master at what he does. Oh, wow. oh lovely. Very good day. Yeah. So is this just an average day in the life of Chris Town? <laughs> I guess so. It's not a bad life you've got then. Well, someone's got to do it. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure watching you work. Will, this is how a proper underwater cameraman operates. I hope you're taking notes, mate. My pleasure. <laughs> I think he's out of a job. <laughs> All right, let's get back on. Yep. So what did you do before joining Scuba Zoo? Uh, well, I was a dive master before I joined Scuba Zoo, before I became a cameraman. And the best thing about this job is just to be in the water and then film the marine life. And yeah, I feel very peaceful when I'm in the water. What's the favourite project you've worked on for Scuba Zoo? One of my favourite jobs when I was working for Scuba Zoo was when I had to go to Maldives. So there's one place there where they have like hundreds of mantas come to, to feed. And I was just there for one hour, you know, press my record button and then just, just witness, witnessing this incredible behaviour. You must have had a few scary moments underwater. Yes, um, another scary moment of like bad experience when, when we were filming in Indonesia. The job there is to, to get the leather bag feeding on jellyfish. Me and Jason, we, we don't have tanks, so we just free dive. Probably quite deep. I think I went to nearly 20 meters to film the, the jellyfish and there was a lot of jellyfish around. I was like, you know, so excited to film this. You know, I forgot that, you know, I'm not, I'm not on air. So after that, I was like, oh, I need to, you know, get out from the water now, I need to breathe. So I just swim up like as fast as I can. And when I look up to see where's the surface, this one massive jellyfish, I think it was that size, landed on my face. So it covered my whole face, right? I reached the surface 
and I just feel the sting right away. It's like someone like sticking their knives on my face. And so I have to urinate on a mask and then just pour my urine, my own urine on my face. It doesn't taste good to be honest. <laughs> um, but Did yeah, it help the pain? It does help a bit, but I, I was in pain, like feel like forever. My face was swollen like this, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't that, you know, good looking anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah, my face was like, you know, like a, a balloon. And I was, you know, crying on the way back, two and a half hours. The next day, the swollen come down, then we went out again that, that day. So what's your favorite animal to film underwater? My all-time favorite animal underwater is the hammerhead. I'm saying this because um, when I was 10, uh, one evening I was watching TV with my parents and then there was a show on TV about underwater and then there was a scene about the hammerheads. When I watched that, I, I, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, I want to be that cameraman that filmed the hammerhead. I just want to be that guy. Every time I see him, my head just feel like so pumped because, because that time I realized like, wow, actually I'm doing the job that I really want to do since I was 10, like my dream job. You fulfilled your childhood dream. Is There's it, not that many uh, people that can say that, Chris. I feel lucky, you know, like this is like my dream job, you know, and every time I, I'm in the water, it's like a dream, you know, I just, I just don't want to wake up. <laughs> so there we go, from a 10 year old boy mesmerized by marine life, to an award-winning underwater cameraman. Chris is living proof that if you want something enough, if you're passionate enough, you too can make those pipe dreams a reality. Just remember to always keep an eye out for jellyfish. Today, I'm gonna to be spending a little bit of time with Chris Tan, who is Scuba Zoo's senior cameraman. But before we meet the man, <laughs> if anyone can, Chris Tan can, because he's the man, because he's an underwater cameraman. Yeah. 